name is Tammy Martins and I'm applying for the Smart Exemplary Educator Program. I'm really excited about this program and the reason that I'm so excited about it is because of my love for SMART. I've been using SMART pro products now for over 10 years and the things that I've seen SMART do in a classroom have absolutely blown me away. That is why I've actually gotten into the position that I'm in and I do a lot of staff developments for our school district. I do a lot of working with the teachers, but I also go into the classroom and model lessons there as well. That's where I've seen such a great improvement in student engagement, their interaction with the curriculum, and just their overall attentiveness to what is going on in the classroom. I'm an absolute smart lover and a smart believer. What I've got today is I just chose um, just a few things that I wanted to show. And the first thing, we all know about the random word chooser. Who doesn't love that? That's one of the first things that I use whenever I'm getting my teachers on board with using SMART. They love the group generator and they love the random word choose. The STARS game. This is one that we used with our first grade students. And we did use the random number generator. And we got number 12. So student number 12 would come up to the board. They would find their star. And then they would get to use our interactive dice to create the math problems, and then they would work them out. At the same time, all the students were at their desk working out their problems as well. Students loved it, highly engaged, and were asking to do it again the next day. The next one we're going to look at is the faculty meeting. At the high school, we are looking for ways to spice up our faculty meetings instead of the same old PowerPoints every single day. So what we did was we took our regular PowerPoint put it into SMART and actually made our faculty meeting interactive because not only do the students need some help paying attention, sometimes us as educators need help as well. So we had just used some of the different interactive tools that we could find in the gallery to keep the staff focused and wondering what was coming up next and who our instructional focus was going to be. And we also one of our favorite things to use are the flip boxes. These are things that we use in, in our classes as well, and the students love them. To me, I think it's just so awesome that it looks like something so small, but it really grabs the students' attention and it keeps them engaged. Isn't that what it's about? The students and the engagement? That's why I love SMART. It's going to be open house. The reason I have the open house file on here is because so many of our parents give so much money and they want to know where's this money going to? Well we wanted to highlight our smart boards during open house. This was a new teacher to using smart so we had created this program and the students would come up and they would click on their picture and I would say my favorite thing about first grade is and the students would write what their favorite thing about first grade was up here and then the parents would come along and they would write something as well and then they click here and it would come back so that the next student could go up there and enter in their favorite thing about first grade. Alright, so we're going to send it back to the screen. So I'll just come hit the, with your fingers, push the red button. Um, but um, you'll, you can kind of see just by this, it's really interactive for the kids. And you'll notice as they come up to do something like this, you'll start seeing more kids volunteering and actually wanting to be a part of the lesson. But we put some funny ones in there, but you can also just gear it to whatever you're studying at that time. Okay, today what we're going to talk about is we're just going to give you a basic understanding of the hardware and the software with the smart board. And then we're going to talk about some ways to integrate it into your daily lessons and how you can use some existing resources that you already have. Because some of you have probably already created some great PowerPoints and you're like, I spent all that time on them, so why would I want to move to something else? You can pull your PowerPoints right into the smart software. So. If you've already created them, that's awesome. Just pull them right in here and you can even jazz them up a little bit more. So I used to teach first grade and let me tell you, my shapes are horrible. 